Hi there, Mara Vitus from 3DX Chat here with another tutorial, another how-to. This is the DJ software called Mix, M-I-Triple-X. Uh, it is a free open source DJ software that you can download from online. I will leave the link to the site in the description. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen, I'm using Mix 2.2.4. It is the most recent update to the program, to the software that you can use. I'm going to show you guys how to get your auto DJ working with Mix today. Okay, so up here, you're going to see the satellite. This is this is off right now. It's grayed out, as you can see. Um, you need to make sure that's running before you start your auto DJ. I'm not going to click it now because I don't need to. But as you can see, I'm in the auto DJ. So there's nothing here. It's empty. So all of my tracks are here. So this is where all the music that I have on my computer is here. Yes, it's I got a lot. So. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can do the slow way, which is click on one song and then drag and drop it into the auto DJ. Boop. And there you go. Okay. If you put a song in there that you don't want, right click on it and click remove. Now it's gone. Or you can kind of randomly go through this. Say you want everything that's got like, I don't know, 128 or 130 BPM roughly. So let's go like here. So we got, Martin's, let's do some Martin. I like Martin, Martin's good. So if you want to do one song at a time, you can, it's kind of time consuming though. But say you want to select a bunch of songs and they're all over your, your tracks, like all over in or different order. Select your first song, okay? Go to whatever song you want to do next. Say I want to do Enya or Renical Flow 2020 Transfer next. Hold down the control key and select it. That's going to select just those two songs because if you select your first song and hold the shift key down. And I want just a rental flow by Anya. It's going to give me the whole list. If I hold down the shift key, it's very similar to how Microsoft word works. So hold down, select the first song, hold the control key, select the second song, release the control key. You can scroll to the next song, wherever it is. Let's do boy zone. You needed me hold down the control key, select it again, release the control key. Now, as you can see, I have three songs selected, okay? Now, select whichever one, left click and hold it down, drag it over to the auto DJ and drop it in there. You now have the first three songs in your auto DJ. I personally, um, I, I, do, I do that. I don't do one at a time and I don't select a whole artist, but if you wanna select an entire artist, to sort by artist, click on artist and it'll organize it all according to artist. Okay. So say we want all nothing but the cure. So let's go with the cure. Select your first song, hold the shift key down and then select the last song. That's going to select the whole section for you. Left click and hold it down, drag it over to the auto DJ and release. Now you have them all here. This is the cures disintegration album. Great album. It's like, Totally awesome. So now to get this going, okay, all you need to do is click enable auto DJ. When that happens, as soon as you click that, it's going to put a track in the left, left try side, and then a track in the right side. The left side is the first one that starts playing. Make sure you click your satellite because if you don't, nobody's going to hear anything. So click your satellite, boom, you now have power. So as soon as you hit enable auto DJ, that song is going to start playing and people in your chat room are going to be able to hear it. So click enable auto DJ, boom. Hey baby, what's that sound? I make a few steps and I'm falling to the ground. Okay, so now the song it's is playing. I'm going to pause it because I think you're going to be able to hear it. You won't be able to hear me very well. So that's how it starts. Now, what happens if you have a song that's like eight minutes long, it's really repetitive and you want to fade out to the next song early. You can let it run or you can do what I sometimes do and fade out early. Now, what this does is you can change how many seconds it takes to fade in and out of the song by clicking the up and down arrow. I leave it at 10 because otherwise it takes too long. So, you can leave it to five seconds. You can up it to 20 seconds. You can do 15, whatever 
whatever your heart's desire. I leave it at 10, just because that seems like a, a, a like a perfect 10 seconds to fade from one song to another. It seems pretty good. So I'm going to hit play again, and I'm going to show you guys what happens when you fade out early. It's going to fade out the left track early, and you're going to see this middle middle bar here start sliding from the left to the right. It's fading out the left track and fading into the right track, and you'll see the right track start playing. So, click fade now. Did you see what happened? If you see what happened, it faded out the last song. It faded out the last song, and as soon as that last song was done, and this one had started loaded and played, boom, it took that left track out and added a new one. So when this Arinical Flow song ends, it'll automatically fade out. When this gets to 10 seconds left, it'll start fading out the Arinical Flow and fade into You Needed Me by Boyzone, or whatever song that you have listed in the left side. So I will show you what happens when that happens. Now, the only thing with Auto DJ is that it doesn't use your loops that you've created, because if you notice here, I created a loop. See? That's a manual loop that I created because I actually used this song in a set yesterday, which was April 2nd. So, that is how you get your Auto DJ to go. Um, once it's your Auto DJ is done playing the songs, it'll shut off. Um, I don't normally use the auto DJ and mix. I use it from my streaming service, but that's okay. Uh, you guys can choose to do this. You can use whatever you like. Um, I might actually use this a little bit more often now that I know how it works properly. I just choose not to. I don't know. <laughs> um, that being said, if you decide to create a different track listing in your auto DJ, all you have to do is click on the song that you want to get rid of, right click it and remove it. If, and it'll disappear. If you want to get rid of everything in here, just right or sorry, left click the first song, scroll down to the bottom, hold the shift key down, and then select the last song. Everything will get highlighted. You right click and then click remove. Now your auto DJ listing is empty and you can create a whole new track list for your auto DJ. I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, I will leave the link to the download for Mix in the description. I hope you guys have a great day and have some fun spinning.